length of the wire or what's causing it because it's not going through transistors to be controlled. This is uncontrolled power. It may be from your brain level from to infinity to where we don't even have radio frequencies that we even know what we'll do. But we have these everywhere in the world. They're all up in the air. They're all transmitting a frequency. They're all buzzing. They're all making frequencies. And someone called me. I wasn't connecting the dots good enough for them. Really? Okay. That's an insulator. This is a wire. That insulator goes around that wire and the wire has an insulator on it. When that wire moves, when the wind blows, it cuts the insulator. When it rains, it runs down the insulator. The water has iron and minerals and aluminum that is sprayed from airplanes called cloud seeding that nobody believes. And it runs down there and it hits that electrical wire. Yes, it does. And when it does, it causes a But you don't hear it or don't see it because it's not real bad. Because it's not a dead short. It's just getting a little bit of water on it. And it's getting a little bit of ground because of the metal. And it's all wet. It's getting a little bit of continuity. Just a little. Not much, just a little. So it's setting off a little bit of a radio wave of whatever frequency it may be. If you've got a good free counter that receives frequencies and it gives you a free counter readout and it'll, you can trace where the signal comes from, which they do make, you can actually track down the frequency and where it comes from. And what the frequency is. Yes, you can. Sure you can. They got them. You can buy them. Sure can. You know how I know? I got one. That's right. Now, let's just say some more here. For you brain scholar motherfuckers that are so fucking smart that don't know nothing but shit. And you know who I'm talking to. I know what I'm talking about. Whether you like it or not, you're wrong, and I'm right. Again, this and this is not good for you. It's very bad for you. It's RF frequency. I don't give a damn if it comes from this or this or if it comes from harp. Harp. You got it? Harp. It's all RF. I'm not going to use the fancy names for you. Don't want to. Don't care to. I know what it is. Period. It's RF. Radio Frequency Wave. Got it? Now, for the ones of you that still don't think I've explained it quite well, I think I have. But now we're going to go talk about something else. That's this. I put something else on here for you. This is July 2nd, 1935. I've put this up several times on several channels. And this is a water carburetor. Yes, it is. Damn sure it is. From 19, look here, 1935. Patent. Sure is. You can look up the number and find it for yourself if you don't believe me. All you got to do is type that number in on Google. You'll find it. I guarantee you. That's where I found it. That right there is a stainless steel. I'm thinking stainless. It could be some other kind of metal, but I'm pretty sure it's probably stainless. And they may not have had stainless at, at the time. I, I ain't sure. I ain't done that much research on stainless steel and how long they've had it. But you got this, 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 and this. You got five rods. So you put in, I, they must have three grounds and two electrodes. 
I don't know. They're all electrodes, but you got the grounded side and you got a positive side. And it takes the oxygen and hydrogen out of the water when you put 12 volts to that. And then it bubbles up into that little thing and it opens this little door you see right here. And it sucks it into the intake when you're running the motor. And it cranks up and it runs. Sure does. Damn sure does. But the man disappeared after he got this patent. Damn sure did. You can look that up too. He went missing. Nobody heard from him again. Hmm. Really now. Same bullshit we're going through today. Somebody finds out some information and they want to create a fucking democracy over it. Damn sure do. And then we got this. Look at this. We got PDFs out the ass about cell phones and what they do and how they operate. It's a PDF, so look it up. And we got plenty of information about it on here for you. And then we got two videos that come out in 1981. That's what a computer looked like in 1981. Some of you were just born that are on here running your gums like you know something. But I was around back in them days. Sure was. I didn't want to have nothing to do with them. Not in that damn thing. I didn't start messing with them till Hmm. 99? But that's neither here nor there. And then here's Steve Steve Jobs right here when he was a young man. And there you a computer. Now, he helped make this situation. You can listen to the computer artist, this, this video. And listen to what he says real closely in here. Real closely. Because he's telling you. That we're teaching you daily. Teaching you. How to operate these machines. And you just don't even realize it. And then we got people on the internet. That are trying to do the same thing. Sure do. Sure do. They want you to learn what they think the way they think. They don't care if your brain's getting fried. They just want you to think that everything's going to be okay. And the government's helping you with heart. And they're helping you with everything that's floating around the streets. Or as, or really? Are you sure about that? Think about it long and hard before you go to fuck off on me when you don't really know me. That's including some of the other guys that are my friends. You don't know me neither. Not really. You don't know what I know. No. I'm just an old country boy. That's right. That's all I am. Really? That's just it. Know a lot. Taught myself a lot. Always been that way. Always been one of them kind of people that likes to tear things apart and put it back together to see how it ticks. I'm just too old to do all that stuff now, but I've done most of it already. You've seen my amplifier I built. You think I don't know nothing about none of this? Really? Are you sure about that? But you're going to believe someone that has no face, has no face, and tells you that they're a lawyer? Really? Are you sure you want to do that? If you do, then by all means do it. By all means. Because you're going to get what's coming to you, I promise. You will. He will. 
So, folks, much love to y'all. And this is not really going off on any one particular person either. I want you to be sure of that. It's not. I tell y'all things, and I try to make everything straightforward to y'all. And I try to tell you the truth. I don't just try. I do my damnest to make sure that I don't make mistakes. But I am a human, and I do make mistakes. But I don't make that damn many. I'm not God. But I know some people out there that do make a lot of serious mistakes. And they never apologize for it. Not once. Not ever have they ever. But I do. If I make a mistake and I realize it, I will say I'm sorry. And I'll take the video down. But I know people that don't. And you do too. So with that, folks, y'all all have a great night. And have a better day tomorrow. Power to the people. And power to the people that have love in their heart. The answer to 1776 is to abolish the Act of 1871 for your freedom.